Welcome back everybody, Mark here, and today we're actually going to be playing a WAV file. So we're going to build a real small program here that opens a window and plays a WAV file, and then when we close the program, the WAV file will stop. So I'm programming in Liberty Basic 4.5.1. Let's go ahead and, and we'll get programming. So let's zoom in here. Um, I'm using OBS as recording, so here we go. Nice little window. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and make sure that we're not displaying the main window. So let's go ahead and say no main win. We don't need the main window. And then our first branch is going to be the branch for our main window. Just in case we need to come back here. So then we want to set our window width. And we'll have that equal 1024. Then we'll set our window height. And I'm going to sneeze there, and I apologize for that, guys. So our window height to 768. We'll set our upper left X. So basically what we want to do is actually center our window, have it open up in the center of our screen. So we're going to use a nice little function. Um, which will be, we're going to convert this to an integer. And we're going to say display width. So the width of our display. And we're going to subtract our window width. And then we want to go ahead and divide that by 2. So that will center it on the x-axis. We then want to go ahead and center it on the y-axis. So we'll go upper left y. And we're using the same method, but instead of using the width, we'll use the height. So track the window height. Then we'll go ahead and we'll divide that by 2. So that'll center it on the y-axis. We then want to open our window. So we'll hit say open. Then we'll give a little title to our window and we'll call it play dot wave file and that'll be in quotes then four and we're going to use a graphics window then we're going to say no scroll bars nsb and then we want no frame we don't want anyone to be able to resize it keep it the size it is when we open it so keep our 1020 by 768 aspect ratio and then we got to give our window a handle so we're going to call it play wave we then want to capture the trap close, so the X in the upper right hand corner. When we click that, we want to do something. And that's called the trap close. And so we'll actually use the handle of our window, which is play wave. And we'll say trap close. Then we'll have a branch label, which will be play wave dot quit. So now when we press on the trap close, press that X, it'll actually go to playwave.quit, which is our branch label, and it'll end our program. We need to tell it to do that. So first, let's tell it to wait here so our window will stay open and not close right away. And then we'll go ahead and we'll have our branch label, playwave.quit. And when we go into this branch label, we're closing the window. We're saying we're done with our program. So let's go ahead and close play wave and then end our program. So right now, if we were to run this, oh, what did I forget? Aha, right here. I'm going to leave this in the video. You guys can see debugging. So I forgot to put in as. So the as says this is what our handle is. But without all these commands, we can't actually open our window. So now if we go to build this, we have our window. Um, and I need to go back to scene one so you guys can see it. So you can see when we run this, we get our window, our play wave. Here's our, our handle or the name of our window that we put in there for us. And the hashtag play wave, this is our window. It's a handle to this window. So we know we're talking to this window. So what we want to do when we open this window is we actually want to play this WAV file. 
So inside the folder where my source file is located at, I actually have a music folder. Inside that music folder, I have this medieval tavern.wave. So let's go ahead and add that in. So let me go back. So I'll get a close up here for you guys. And we'll actually do play wave. And then we actually want to say what the file is. So it's in the music folder. So in music, I want to backslash. And the file is called medieval tavern dot wave. And then we actually want to be able to use our program while this file is playing. So we want to set it to async. Um, if we didn't set it to async, it would automatically be defaulted to playing the entire file. So you imagine if your wave is five minutes, you'd have to wait five minutes to do anything else. You can also set this to loop, so it'll keep playing the file. Um, but here we want to play it and still use our play or our program. So we want to be able to still use our program. This might be background music. So you know we'll set it to async. And I encourage you guys to look up that up in the help file on all the commands that are with play wave. So when we close our program, we actually want to stop the wave file from playing. So we want to say play wave. Just use double quotes. That'll actually stop the file. So if we were to go ahead and run this now, let me change my scene here. So you guys can see the result. We'll play it. And you can see we actually have some medieval tavern music. So it's a nice medieval sound. As soon as we close the window, you can see that, you know, the wave file stops. So we can play it. Move our window around. But as soon as we close it, it stops. Yeah, that's that Windows 7 where if you shake the screen while holding a window, it minimizes everything else. But I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Um, it's how to play a WAV file um, using Liberty Basic. I'm going to do more tutorials, kind of show you guys what else we can do with this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. Um, and don't forget to hit on that thumbs up button. Thanks, guys. See you in the next lesson.